Yo, 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 what's going on guys? Reese here from Stoke Pool and in this video we're going to be having a little look at the Marlow Playground which is basically like a testing ground for smart contracts on the Cardano blockchain. Very exciting stuff. So um, yeah, let's get into it. Right guys, welcome to my home office, aka the spare bedroom. So this is basically where I do all my fun stuff, work. <laughs> And basically what we're gonna be doing is diving into Marlow Playground. So the Marlow Playground is basically a testing ground for smart contracts on the Cardano blockchain. And all you need to do to get there is go to this website, alpha.marlow.iohkdev.io, or you can go there, just Google it and you'll find it. And basically what this is, is a place where you can test smart contracts, get used to using it, get used to using Marlow or Haskell, or with JavaScript, you can do it as well. As you can see, you've got a couple of options here. Um, my favorite, because I'm not the most tech savvy person in terms of like coding and different languages and stuff. This is all very new to me and I'm learning a lot about it, but right now I'm just messing around with Blockly because it's nice and simple. All right, and what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna click on start new project here. So I'm gonna pick Blockly. And what that does is it gives us this environment, which is basically like a drag and drop environment where we can just chuck stuff in. So here we've got contracts, observations, actions, values, pay, parties, tokens, amounts. These are basically all the different elements of the smart contract, or I just put simply. Now, I've been working on a bunch of different ideas for how these smart contracts could be working, but we're not gonna look at that now. We're gonna be looking at an actual example that we have on here. So luckily the IOHK guys give us a little bit to work with. So we've got a couple of different things going on here. Okay, we've got an escrow, we've got a zero coupon bond, coupon bond guaranteed and swap. So these are all a couple of different examples. You can have a look at them in any of these different um, formats, basically. So we're just gonna go for, I don't know, let's go on, let's just go swap. Swap's nice and easy. Okay, so because we picked Blockly, it shows us in the Blockly format. So this is what the contract looks like when you build it in Blockly. Okay, and what we have here is we have party one and party two. And they're basically swapping two different values. So party one's bringing 500 ADA to the table, party two is bringing 300 ADA, and they're basically doing a straight swap of these tokens. Okay, that's, that's what's going on. Find out down here that basically this is within a certain amount of time. And if it doesn't happen, Dun, 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 dun. Oh no, there's no it doesn't happen. There's no it doesn't happen element, it just closes. So party one deposits 500 ADA into, their, uh, into the contract. And then when party two deposits, uh, deposits their 300 ADA into the contract, then it swaps. Simple. Party two pays party, uh, sorry, party one transfers to party two and party two transfers to party one. That's it. Very, very simple. Okay, I think, I think it could all go wrong here. So you can click send to simulate it here and we can give it a try. So we pick the slot. So you'll see here they have different slots. So this happens within 15 slots and it closes. And if it doesn't, yeah. So if it doesn't happen within 15 slots, it closes. If this one doesn't happen within 20 slots, it closes. So they basically have, uh, it, the contracts last a finite amount of time. And if the terms aren't met in that time, it's all canceled. So we'll start at initial slot zero, and then we're gonna go, is this person gonna put their 500 ADA in? We're gonna say, yeah. So we're gonna just click that. Okay, and then, so that happens. And you see here, action, deposit 500, that's cool. All right, wicked. And then we go, move to slot 10. Okay, so now it's been 10 slots. Okay, it's still not within the time for this to finish, but just say that something happens, like a period of time happens. And then you go, does party two deposit? We can add that action. So if, if party two deposits their 300 ADA, we're just gonna go yes, add that. Then the contract pays 300 to party one and the contract pays 500 ADA to party two. So the contract's fulfilled and the money goes to the various places. And it took 10 slots. And that's purely because I inputted that 10 slot time. So I just created a kind of fictional amount of time between de party one depositing and party two depositing. That's all that I did. That's basically how this contract works. No errors. Here you can look for errors in your contract if something happens. No warnings. Like, I don't know what the warnings are because I haven't had any yet, so I don't know. 
statistical analysis, blah, 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 current state closed. So the current state took 10 slots, they closed, and that's, I don't know why it shows these, because obviously the, no choices were made, the things happened, everything went, check the logs, everything happened, contract pays, contract pays, complete. All right, now let's just say something didn't happen. So we undo. So we say, party one pays in their 500 ADA, and then we say, does party two pay their 300 ADA? We're gonna say, no, they don't, and it moves to 20 slots. And so we hit that 20 slot, that uh, the finite amount of time, and there was no payment of 300 ADA into the contract by party two. So instead, what you do is the contract just pays the 500 ADA back to party one. Okay, so then the contract isn't fulfilled and everything goes back where it was originally. That's basically what happens in this swap contract. It's really quite simple. I know there's like a couple of steps and it might feel like I'm over explaining it a little bit, but it's basically a logic flow. And you say, is, has the thing happened? Yes or no? Has, it, has the amount of time passed? Yes or no? And then you react based on whether those things are. And up here, I've got the available actions and I'm literally just telling it what happened. So I'm, I'm kind of inputting the data into the simulation. Like, it has the, it is party two paid? Yes, bang. Is party three paid? Yes, bang. Okay, so that's basically how this works. Showing it as closed because that's the point I got to. Oops. If I go back here, I can undo, undo. And you can see here, this is this is what the, the contract actually looks like um, out of Blockly. So this is not in Blockly right here, obviously. Undo, undo, so I can pull it all back. And then we go back to viewing Blockly, and here we are, we've got it all. Okay, so although this looks quite complicated, this looks like there's loads of things going on, we've basically got uh, when this happens, do it when this happens, continue, and then we wait until this happens, and then the output happens, the pay and the pay. Okay, so it's basically a very simple logic process within this contract. It's saying when this deposit happens, continue, uh, like the contract started essentially. And then you're, it's when this happens, which is the second deposit, you're just waiting for that and you have a wait of 20 slots. When that happens, then do the switch. And if it doesn't happen after 20 slots, close it. That's it. Once that contract opens, you have 15 slots for it to happen. So once it happens, like there's, there's a bit of a time uh, there's a time parameter for any of it to happen. If none of it happens, then the contract's automatically closed and, and nothing happens here because the 15 slots happen, no one's deposited party one, party two haven't deposited, so everything goes, nothing happens, it's inconsequential. Okay, but that's basically how this works. Okay, it's one very simple example. I'm gonna be doing a bunch more examples of potential kind of uh, things that could be happening on this as we kind of, as I kind of learn more Right guys, so that's just a very, very basic look at how the Marlowe Playground works and how you can test smart contracts. Okay, we've used a very simple example here. There were a lot more here. As you can see, there's the escrow, there's your coupon bond and the coupon bond guaranteed. Um, it would be well worth having a little look at these before you start thinking about trying to write them yourself because it can get very complicated, especially if you're just trying to chuck blocks in, having not like gone through the tutorials or anything like that. They do have tutorials, so you can go up in the corner here and you can check out their tutorials. It's a very simple text tutorial, it's nothing particularly complica uh, complicated. You've got your table of contents here, you can roll, scroll through, all these are all quick links as well if you wanna just dive into a certain thing. I don't know why they have that when that's there. I guess it's just to make it more mobile friendly. Um, but here, you know, they, they explain all the things. It's not in any crazy detail, but it does teach you the basics of, of what's going on and what, what they're actually trying to achieve at any point in here, explain what all these things are and how you can use them. Okay, it's, uh, yeah, it's very interesting. This is a very exciting time for the Cardano blockchain because this is like the first step, the first kind of, uh, the first step to having smart contracts on the blockchain. This is happening, like this is all coming very soon and this is an opportunity to get in and learn about it, understand how it works, and either learn to do it yourself um, for other people or give yourself the opportunity to create products like, um, like contracts and stuff yourself and really understand how smart contracts work on the Cardano blockchain. 
because this is going to put you ahead of a lot of people if it's something you're interested in doing. Okay, I'm going to try and do a bunch of other things. I'm going to share with you some of my broken tests <laughs> of different projects that I've tried doing in the Marlow Playground. I recommend you check it out. Guys, uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, so I'm going to show you a bunch of my examples of things that I've tried doing and how I've messed things up. Um, I would really recommend you check this out, guys, because this is a great opportunity to learn more about smart contracts without having to do any of the coding or anything. You can just get in, do the block clear, and you can always check it as the coding. So you can kind of see when you send a simulator, you can have a look at it in the, in the um, formats. You know, so you can see it in a different format here and you understand because you've made the blocks, you understand what's going on at each of these points as well, which is great for actually learning yourself, actually educating yourself on the process and learning where you're going wrong and what, what you could have done differently. And you can kind of see little opportunities for different things through these available actions. And you're like, oh no, that isn't quite working right. And you can edit and change from there. All right, I'm gonna spend the next couple of weeks learning a lot about this and testing out a few different things. So I'm gonna be making more and more videos about this Marlow Playground. So make sure you give us a like, subscribe for um, more future videos on smart contracts on Cardano. Um, guys, that is it for this video. If you like what you've seen, as always, give us a like, give us a subscribe, leave any questions or comments you got in the box below. Check out the Marlow Playground. There'll be a link in the description as well. Guys, don't forget to delegate to Stoic Pool. Otherwise, I will catch up with you in the next video. Keep in touch with yourselves.